Okay, I've got it hooked to my supply line off of the uh, solenoid, and I believe that down there is going to be the smog pump. One thing that question I have a question about, and I'll have to read about the uh, info on it. So I thought this was supposed to be attached down there. I don't know. But let's go ahead. It will go down, down through here, back through, down through in here where I originally saw it was disconnected. If I had a Schrader valve attachment, I could smoke test it this way or pressure test it that way. Back down through here, and I believe back down to the gas tank. One thing to pull away from this is it does not hurt to uh, bust open the factory manual and read the diagrams, but just kind of antsy. I want to see. Hoses are easy to replace. Uh, it's when you start getting into the internals and gaskets and whatnot that start to become a pill for me. Alright, let's test it. smoking from right there, so that's okay. I don't see anything. I'll crawl up under the truck. Don't see. Oof, jeez, criminy. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to be replacing hoses for months. This is the hose that uh, fed up to the supply line. Oh, shoot, sorry guys. Don't mean to have you upside down. Feel free to puke. This is the supply line that we're attached to. Um. Those are looking really crusty. Yeah, I may go ahead and replace that one. That one is just ready to bust off. That's still pretty, pretty flexible. Oof. Fortunately, I don't have it looks like five eighths. That may be quarter inch. Um, I do not have the hose to replace that. And that would definitely need to be fuel line because that's going to carry exhaust gases and some fuel vapors. You don't want to use heater hose for that. Um, okay, well at least we've identified one that definitely needs to be replaced and since you're going to be down here doing it, you might as well uh, do it all. Let's uh, connect it to the return line. See how that how that one holds up. Alright. So I can get you all 
good shot without, uh, yeah, I'll split the piss out of that. Oh well, I know I'm going to replace it. So I'm not going to cry about it. And there are ways to test your solenoid. I don't know the volts, but uh, you can usually uh, test it and make sure it's switching on and off. There's also certain hand scanners can um, can actually simulate simulate a uh, solenoid on or off. But for now, let's just do a smoke test on our return line. Okay. And this one's going to go down to this T right here back up over here to our throttle body and then down into our uh, smoke pump so we'll be able to see oh, I have a hose failure <clears throat> what we should see is smoke inside of there, so that's good. Okay, no leaks. Um, since I'm going to run and get some, uh, probably about 20 feet of this tubing, just to be safe, I mean, I know there's no leaks, but I'm going to go ahead and replace these. No sense in tempting fate. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'll run, go get the hose. And the one for the uh, fuel tank. And then we'll replace those, clean that throttle body. That thing is nasty. And see if I get the infamous, uh, what was it, P0051 code. <clears throat> God, I hope it's not a O2 sensor. Ah, I thought I saw smoke there for a second, but <clears throat> nope, I think we're good. All right, I will uh, get that hose, get this updated, and uh, show me installing those. So good, at least we know our EVAP lines aren't actively leaking, um, with the exception of going ahead and replacing these hoses, and then that fuel tank hose, 
we should be pretty good. And then what we can do <clears throat> is uh, if we still get the code, we bust out the uh, oscilloscope and uh, multimeter and test the voltage on the uh, O2 sensor. God help us. That bottom down downstream one doesn't seem too hard, but I'm sure these up here are going to be a bear. Alright, be back soon. Alright guys, I ended up uh, replacing these fuel lines that uh, go into my charcoal canister here. <clears throat> Went ahead and uh, replaced all three of them. Uh, this one was severely cracked. Uh, this middle one and a hairline crack, but I don't think it went all the way through. And the same with this this top one up here. Um, it was this bottom one here that was really bad. But let me see if I can get you a good shot way out here. Um, once I fixed that and cleared the code, it did not come back, so we're all good there. The only thing I've got to check is there is a couple more hoses back into there. I need to take a look at, <clears throat> which I'll uh, probably see before I do that. I'll I'll see if I can get the. Uh, check engine light code to come back and then if it does then I'll, I'll look at those hoses above the tank but <clears throat> there you go three pieces of uh, fuel line uh, do not use heater hose I got into a heated argument with a parts guy about uh, heater hoses and uh, fuel line hoses especially for the EVAP system and especially for those that go into the charcoal canister Anyways, there you go. Alright, it may be a little difficult to see, but uh, this hose that goes into the uh, purge solenoid and the bottom one was replaced. And the one that leads back down there was replaced. The only one I haven't done is the one that goes up to the throttle body. I'll probably do that one this weekend. But there you go, smoke testing the EVAP. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them now. Uh, answer them as quickly as I can.